This segment takes us up close and personal with the real change agents, the Foundation Heartbeats. Each month, we'll take a deep dive into what really drives community change. And it all comes down to the people. To kick things off, we sat down with Charmaine Daniels, CEO of the Digicel Jamaica Foundation, to give us a sneak peek into the work of the first Digicel Foundation. I'm Charmaine Daniels, CEO of the Digicel Foundation. The Digital Jamaica Foundation was established in 2004, shortly after Hurricane Ivan devastated the island. This was the first Digital Foundation created with a goal of working with communities to create a world where no one gets left behind. And over the years, we have established three primary areas of focus, special needs, education, and community development. The Digital Jamaica Foundation has come to be especially known for our work in special needs. We have also hosted the annual 5K for special needs that sees 10,000 persons joining in to help to raise funds for the special needs organizations. We are the first and the largest corporate donor for the community and we have constructed over 10 special needs centers to serve students with multiple disabilities. Partnerships are important to us as we work every year with the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Labor and Social Security to fund special needs institutions. <music> Giving back and impacting lives is what life is all about. I am proud to be working for a company that wants to see our communities grow and flourish as Digicel grows. It is super fulfilling to see the lives impacted by what we do. With almost 40 million US dollars invested in various projects, we are impacting hundreds of thousands of lives. At the core of what we do is advocating for the special needs community as we are raising awareness and visibility of those with disabilities and helping to break down the stigmas. When we speak about creating a world where no one gets left behind, it's about working at the grassroots level to increase access to education and resources for persons of all abilities and in all areas of the island. Now we take you to Papua New Guinea in the Pacific, where the foundation is reducing maternal mortality rates, encouraging their staff to be agents of change and making education more accessible for students with disabilities. Samban is located three hours by boat from Angoram Station. For years, women have had to deliver their babies in their villages because they could not get to a hospital nearby. This has been the leading cause of maternal deaths. Outreach International PNG saw the need to have a maternity ward in the Sanban Health Center and applied through our community grants program to complete the structure they had already started building. In the presence of the governor for Isipik, the open member for Angoram, and the men and women of Sanban and nearby villages, we were proud to open the new maternity ward. Thank you, Long. This is El, our PNG. A day after the opening, two babies have already been born inside the maternity ward. We are doing our bit to make sure PNG's rural majority are not left behind. With our staff grants, 10 staff members of Digicel PNG have been awarded micro grants of 5,000 kina to roll out community initiatives, thanks to Digicel PNG Foundation. The program encourages Digicel staff to be agents of change in their communities by living out the company values, loving the work they do, and learning new skills through volunteering. 
Also, 10 community organizations from all around Papua New Guinea were awarded grants of up to 50,000 kina each under Digicel Foundation's Leadership for Change Community Grants Program. This program aims to create a network of organizations that are working on the front lines in their communities to address health, education, social inclusion, sustainable livelihoods, and community safety. Hi everyone, under our health banner, along with providing ambulances and health aid posts to rural communities, it is our special needs program designed to rehabilitate and increase access for children living with a disability into formal schools. Makamrud Primary School in Leh, Morabe Province is one of few schools in the country that integrates such students into the formal classes through the Morabe Inclusive Education Resource Centre. We recently visited the school and were delighted to learn that the 2016 education investment is in full use by the students. This building has been a great help to us, the resource centre, and all our special needs children, and diverse learning needs, they all, when we do the integration at the centre-based um, learning centre, they used to come here and then they access the building. And I see that it's very important and we are utilising the building for inclusive purpose. I think I can sign your welcome. <laughs> now, let's hear from our social media audience again. This is another Ask the Foundation segment where you can get in on the action and have your questions answered. This is another question for the Trinidad and Tobago Foundation. What programs do you fund? The Digicel TNT Foundation funds initiatives in two main areas. Projects for persons with disabilities, such as therapy, education, sport for development, disaster preparedness, and advocacy for inclusion. The other funding area is community development. These are projects dedicated to building digital citizens, projects that empower girls, community groups, and initiatives that encourage social entrepreneurship. Thank you, Geneve, for participating in our Ask the Foundation segment. You've just won yourself a wireless charging pad. Each month, check out our social media to Ask the Foundation and you can win attractive prizes.